guys, I'm Kyle from studywebdevelopment.com. Today I want to talk to you about how digital marketing can increase your income. There are a lot of ways we could go with this topic, as it's a huge one, but I just want to cover the nuggets here and make it simple as well as practical to understand and to implement. I'm not going to get all fancy with words here. I want to explain everything so most people can understand this topic better. By the end of this video, my goal is that you can see the potential of digital marketing and how it can help your freelancing career by combining it with web design and development. This is what you will learn. The fundamentals of digital marketing, why digital marketing is important, how to make money from digital marketing, how to find clients and studying digital marketing. Let's get started. What is digital marketing? The ultimate goal of digital marketing is to promote a product, service or brand to the right target audience with the intention of a desired action such as awareness, a sale, a free download or something like that. As a general short summary and for simplicity's sake, digital marketing consists of AdWords, SEO, online advertisements, content writing and social media. Just to briefly run through them, AdWords is the platform to advertise on Google search results. SEO is the process of ranking a website higher on Google search results. Online advertisements are things like Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, website ads, and so on. Content writing is writing regular articles for business, and it's usually with SEO intentions. Social media is creating relevant social posts to drive traffic to a website and it's also to make a website or in this case business to appear to be more credible and more trustworthy. Why is digital marketing important? Most freelance developers experience what I call valleys and peaks when it comes to their monthly income. So one month they might earn a big income and the next month they might not even break even. Digital marketing skills can help keep your income more consistent so you can budget more effectively and you can sleep in peace knowing you don't need to start from zero the next month. Digital marketing equips you with valuable skills in an industry that is booming. Digital marketing helps you offer a more complete solution to your clients. Digital marketing provides you with more knowledge to create effective websites. Digital marketing helps you to create a better personal brand which opens up a lot of doors. Digital marketing provides you with the knowledge to create your own products and to market them effectively online, this boosting your chances of success. Digital marketing helps you stand out from the commodity market of those who just create websites. The best type of income is passive income where you don't need to work or it requires very little effort to maintain. But what's the second best income? Recurring, predictable income. I speak to freelancers on a regular basis and many of them earn a high income, but this only lasts for a short time and their income drops significantly. So what's the solution to this? Recurring, predictable income. Bundling your web design skills with digital marketing services helps you achieve this. Not only does this help you earn a more predictable income each month, but if you create effective websites and create an effective digital marketing campaign for the business, they will have more chance of success. If you think about why you would be working with a client, the ultimate goal is to get them more sales and digital marketing knowledge and skills can help you do just that. How do you make money from digital marketing? First, you need knowledge. I recommend a few learning resources at the end of this video for those who don't understand what SEO is and AdWords and how to understand it better. Once you know enough where you feel confident, you are ready. I find that a lot of people are very hesitant to start because they wait until they are almost perfect at something. Don't wait until you are the Yoda of a particular skill. Just know enough that you don't have to feel like some kind of fraud, then it's time to take it to the next step. Start, fail, learn along the way and adapt. This is key to succeeding. This is a breakdown of earning potential. 
Breakdown for earning $1,000 per month. Get one client paying you $1,000. Get two clients paying you $500. Get four clients paying you $250. Breakdown for earning $3,000 per month. Get one client paying you $3,000. Get two clients paying you $1,500. And get three clients paying you $1,000. When you break it down like this, it actually makes it more attainable and more understandable. And you know you can actually potentially reach it. Depending on which option you choose, your services can also be adjusted. The tasks and services you offer to earn $1,000 and $3,000 per month are pretty much the same. The only difference is the time you will be dedicating to a client. So if client A pays you $1,500 per month versus client B paying you $250 per month, Obviously, you'll be dedicating more time and providing a more comprehensive service to client A. Here is an example of an action step I would follow. Figure out how much I would earn monthly. Let's say $5,000 as an example. Target a small competitive niche like solar panel companies. Create an industry analysis report where I analyze the market, competitors and websites. Position myself as an expert in this niche through building an effective online presence. Compile a digital marketing retainer package of services for $1,250 per client aimed at improving sales in the solar panel niche. This could be web development improvements, AdWords, content marketing, SEO, design, etc. The next step is to sign four clients paying $1,250 each, or in other words, $5,000 per month. I would then work two hours per day per client, which equals a full day's work. In other words, eight hours. How to find digital marketing clients. The truth is that anyone can get clients. You actually don't want clients. You want the right clients that pay you a good amount of income on a consistent basis. Does this sound better? So how do you get these clients? You want to offer them services, but why? Just so you can get paid and go on nice holidays? Of course not. It's important to think like the business owner here, and all they care about is how you can help them improve or grow their business. Then you can worry about a nice holiday. I come across website portfolios all the time. The person is always quick to mention their skills and how knowledgeable they are at a particular skill. But their website navigation, the color theme and the layout is terrible and they still don't understand why they are not getting clients. Are you an expert at front-end development? That's excellent. But if your web design skills, your communication skills, and lack of conversion rate optimization knowledge is not good, then why do you think you're not getting clients? Look introspectively here. Get a second opinion about your skills from a friend or someone who will tell you the blunt truth. Take constructive criticism and see where you can improve. Whenever I help developers get clients, they are always anxious to get going. But they often forget the fundamentals when it comes to laying the right foundation. To create a visual analogy of this topic, it's much like this scenario. You are on a small kayak trying to get to the other side of the river. Your main focus is on getting the oar to row to the other side. But what you are not focused on is fixing the small hole inside the kayak so it doesn't sink halfway. Getting clients is the oar. The hole is everything else you need to get right. Worry about repairing the hole first, then use the oar. If a client can't see that your own website looks professional and well thought out, why should they trust that you can create an effective website and improve their online presence with digital marketing as well? Why should they trust that you can deliver on a project if you don't have any client testimonials or success stories? Think about this practically for a second. If you wanted to buy Bluetooth earphones online and you came across a website that looks bad and their social media accounts only have 50 followers compared to a good looking professional website with thousands of followers and even priced 10% higher, who would you buy from? The one you trust more. 
it's no different to how a client thinks. You can either create trust or doubt. The question is, which one is happening for you? After you realize the importance of trust, how do you build trust? There are two main ways. One, a good professional website. Two, get client testimonials. To create an effective website or portfolio site, you need to think different to what most web designers or developers think. A lot of developers think of their portfolio site as some sort of resume or CV. They showcase their skills like this. HTML and CSS 90%, SEO 80%, design 85% and so on. Some of them also write blog articles. What's funny about this is that these articles are all web development related topics. This is the wrong angle completely. Your portfolio site needs to be focused on how you can provide a solution to a business and it needs to showcase your expertise along with your skills, but in a way that makes sense to a potential client. Here's a rough outline of a portfolio site that is focused around the client. You can view the link on the right to see the image better. It's very simple, but you'll notice that it makes sense and the main focus is on helping the client's business grow and then ultimately getting a quote request. This is much better than the CV or resume based portfolios. I think it's important to distinguish here that I'm referring to getting clients and not referring to getting a job at a corporate company. To get client testimonials, you need to have done previous client work. But what if you haven't done any previous client work? My answer and solution is simple. Do work for free in exchange for testimonials. So many people always dispute working for free and they create long articles about why it's bad and so on. Firstly, it's not a year of your life and secondly, it works. What's better? A client that you can't find or just doing two good looking websites for free in exchange for testimonials so that this convinces other potential clients to pay you. I would personally always opt for the latter and I always advise the same to others as well. Here are a few examples of businesses to approach for a free website. A local NGO or charity, a small coffee shop or restaurant, a small local business, helping a friend or family with their website. After you've laid this foundation, it now comes to actually getting the clients. Contrary to popular belief, it does actually require work to do this. If you have already done work for previous or existing clients, send them this email. Hi name, I hope you are doing well. I just want to find out if you are planning to make additional changes to website name that I can assist you with. Thanks and have a great weekend coming up. Regards, your name. P.S. If you have a friend in business who needs a website, I'd love if you can put me in touch with them. If you are starting from scratch and you don't have existing or previous clients, you can follow these steps. Do a search on Google, let's say landscapers in California. You'll notice that there will be three or four ads right at the top and two or three ads at the bottom. Click on each of these ads and take note of the following. The page you land on and the overall website. If you notice the page you land on is not convincing enough with a clear call to action such as a request a quote form or call us back form, then that's good news for you. If you notice their website is not created well, that's also good news for you. Now it's time for you to email them. Just as a side note, the reason this is a good approach is that AdWords is not free advertising. It costs the business money to do that. Therefore, they should actually understand the value that you need to spend money to make money. In other words, spend money on advertising to get more clients. So that means they won't, or they shouldn't be rather, they shouldn't be these difficult clients who are trying to negotiate on smaller packages. You can email them something like this. Hi, name. I recently came across your website after searching for the search term you used. 
I notice you don't have any effective call to action such as a contact form or any social proof to create credibility which will help you get more interested sales leads. I'd love to set up a call to discuss how I can help improve the sales of your business through effective web design changes. For more information about my expertise, here is my website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you and I look forward to your feedback. Regards, your name. And as another side note, this strategy also works if you are looking for poster ads in the yellow pages or online directories. Another common and overlooked way to get clients are letting your family and friends know that you now make websites and you are familiar with how digital marketing works and you can offer these services as well. Going to local business meetups, and I'm not referring to developer meetups, as this is where you will make the right connections with the right decision makers. The moment that you mention you help businesses improve their websites so that they can get more sales, you'll get more interest and in people saying they want to chat to you about their website. Specialization and finding a niche. This is a very big topic by itself, so here is a summary. Smile Marketing is a web design and marketing agency for dentists. Chiro Matrix is a web design and marketing agency for chiropractors. Paper Street is a web design and marketing agency for lawyers. Golf Web Design is a web design and marketing agency for golfers. Each of these websites have a team behind them as well as a waiting list for clients and they charge a premium price as well. The question is, why are they so successful? They are seen as experts because they have specialized in one niche. This is an excellent approach to move out of the commodity market and into an abundance of clients. To summarize so far, build more trust, fix any holes in your kayak, position yourself as an expert and niche down, strategically approach those within your niche, keep growing and building authority in your niche. Studying digital marketing. There are plenty of resources to learn digital marketing, but these are my recommendations. These blogs here on the left are excellent, Digital Marketer, Vibachill, Backlinko and Gaps. And if you prefer online courses, there are plenty of excellent courses on udemy.com. In concluding this video, I want to clarify that there is a lot to discuss about this topic, but I wanted to mention the main parts that apply to developers and freelancing. Don't overlook the benefits of digital marketing and how it can help you in your career. Please feel free to comment below and ask me any questions or email me and I'll provide more clarification when I can. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it's helped you.